Sudanese authorities have taken control of lucrative assets that, for years, provided backing for Hamas, shedding light on how the country served as a haven for the Palestinian military group under former leader Omar al-Bashir. The takeover of at least a dozen companies that officials say were linked to Hamas has helped accelerate Sudan's realignment with the West since Bashir's overthrow in 2019. Over the past year, Khartoum has won a removal from the U.S. state sponsors of terrorism list and is on course for relief of more than $50 billion in debt. Hamas has lost a foreign base where members and supporters could leave, raise money and channel Iranian weapons and funds to the Gaza Strip. Seized assets detained by Sudanese official sources and a Western intelligence source show the reach of those networks. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.